Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the passing of the Deputy Ruler and Dubai and of Dubai and Minister of Finance, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Majesty also sent a cable of condolences to the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Majesty sent a similar cable of condolences to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Muhammad bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the passing of the Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Minister of Finance, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Royal Highness also sent a cable of condolences to the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable of condolences to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness also sent a cable of condolences to the Deputy Ruler of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. The body of the late Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Minister of Finance, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, was buried in Umm Harir Cemetery in Dubai this afternoon. The Crown Prince of du Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, was at the forefront of the mourners. The UAE announced a three day mourning and ordered the national flag to be flown at half mass for 10 days. Under the patronage of the Sustainable Energy Authority President, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, the 2021 International Symposium on Electrical and Electronics Engineering, ISEE 2021, commenced virtually, organized by the SEA in cooperation with the Bahrain Society of Engineers and the United Nations Development Program in the Kingdom, with more than 900 participants from 40 countries. The event is in line with national efforts to limit the spread of the coronavirus and maintain the momentum of the development process, as well as the efforts to advance advanced sustainable energy sector in the kingdom, which has become one of the main pillars that contribute to pushing Bahrain towards achieving the sustainable development goals of the UN and addressing climate change in addition to applying the principles of sustainability at all development levels, the most important of which is the energy level. Dr. Mirza hailed the unwavering support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which played a vital role in the national achievements in the field of sustainable energy. He added that the kingdom aims to diversify energy sources to a combination of fossil and renewable energy, as well as lower the cost of electricity and water services for citizens through the use of renewable energy and an increase of energy efficiency. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in the Representatives' Council session to discuss the final report of the Parliamentary Investigation Committee on Pension Funds, administered by the Social Insurance Organization. Sheikh Salman expressed thanks to the members of the Legislative Authority for their continuous cooperation to achieve the aspirations of citizens, and noted the efforts of the Investigation Committee, stressing that the interests of citizens is the top priority. The Minister of Finance affirmed the continuity of cooperation and that the efforts of the executive and legislative authorities have a great impact in achieving many projects for the benefit of the country and the citizens. He also highlighted the importance of pension funds and their sustainability to preserve the rights of retirees and subscribers and ensure their ability to fulfill their future obligations, indicating that there were many steps taken to preserve and sustain them. The minister stated that work is continuing according to a clear plan in cooperation with the legislative authority to reach sustainable of sustainability of funds until the year 2086 and to overcome the challenges facing them to fulfill their financial obligations and address the deficit. He noted the importance of internal and external regulatory agencies and the National Financial Administrative Audit Office in preserving public fund. He also affirmed keenness to develop the work of the pension fund through the efforts of the board of directors of the social insurance organization and its executive management to enhance joint action. 
The public prosecutor, Dr. Ali bin Fadl Bainain, participated in a regional seminar on the effective application of alternative penalties organized by the Judicial and Legal Studies Institute to partnership with, in partnership with the UN and in the presence of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa. Dr. Bainain affirmed that the alternative penalties and procedures law is closely connected to human rights and is considered an important shift in the penalties policy, which is a result of the Kingdom's efforts and endeavors to protect these rights. He asserted that the seminar is a result of the international interest in Bahrain's legislative and institutional achievements that are in line with international standards and principles. The public prosecutor also reviewed the humanitarian goals of the alternative penalties and procedures law, as well as the positive social outcomes of applying it. He also noted that the number of beneficiaries, beneficiaries from the law has reached 3,098 convicts. The social insurance organization made a statement in which it affirmed cooperation with the legislative authority and all that safeguards the interests of the citizens. It said that the sustainability of the pension funds is the key objective to enhance its abilities and responsibilities towards retirees. The head of the board of directors of the SIO, Mahmoud al kohiji noted that the average investments return managed by the Osul company amounted to 7.49%, which goes in accordance with the International Investment Performance Indicator. The Ministry of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning is planning on establishing a public company in cooperation with the Ministry of Finance and National Economy and Mumtalakat and under the supervision of the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure. The company will be involved in all projects that have to do with food security in line with the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which call on carrying out various initiatives in this regard to safeguard the security of the Kingdom of Bahrain. It is hoped that the ideas that have been developed through various programs in the field of agriculture with the partnership of various stakeholders in the field such as farmers and fishermen will be held through ownership of shares in the company. The company's official strategy will be based on backing those who are involved in the food industry through training them and further improving their standards of living through various initiatives and developing their fields through the use of the latest technology, the increase of the industrial output and the reduction of the operating costs. The chairman of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority and the president of the Survey Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a media brief with the National Communications Center in which he affirmed the importance of the real estate sector in the economy. He said that law number 27 of 2017 on regulating the real estate sector reflects the importance of this market in the future for all parties in the public and private sectors. He affirmed that the national plan to develop the real estate sector in 2021 to 2024 will contribute to its improvements in a secure and sustainable manner through attracting direct foreign investment and economic diversification in light of the challenges of the present period. The chairman added that the initiative in this regard are based on offering innovative services, creating a business-friendly environment and building an electronic platform for the stakeholders and establishing a regulatory framework to use the latest technology in the process. He also underlined the importance of sustainability through various measures including the construction of certain roads in the kingdom that are free of cars. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 439,433 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 240,648 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 7,199 with 603 recoveries, 809 registered new cases and 4 deaths. 323 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 472 are contacts of active cases and 14 are travel related. The deceased were a male citizen aged 72, two female citizens aged 69 and 54 and a female expatriate aged 20. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.